Enjoy 1% merchant commission when you accept Lanka Pay cards. Contact these banks today. The current political crisis could cause $50 million loss per day or rising, the private sector revealed today whilst fearing a drop of around 30% from the export revenue from this month onwards. A total of 23 major associations, representing key industries of the economy in one voice called on the parliamentarians of all political parties to come up with a viable long-term proposal to urgently start negotiations with the International Monetary Fund along with debt restructuring plan, to ensure political stability to win the confidence of the world to fix the adversity. They warned that their industries, which collectively earn about $16.7 billion annually through merchandise and services exports, would come to a standstill if the current situation continues. In addition, they said livelihoods of over 4.2 million workers or 50% of Sri Lanka's entire working population will be badly affected. The private sector champions expressed that they could breathe a sigh of relief with the appointments of new central bank governor Dr. Nandalal Weeraisinghe and finance ministry secretary KMM Siriwadana on Thursday. We are seeing tremendous challenges which is going into the next level and bringing all industries to a halt. IMF should have been yesterday and not tomorrow or next week. We insist on the government and opposition to come up with a politically stable system, so that the world will believe us. The president has all powers through the constitution and he has to take a call on the next step. The prime minister and the rest of the MPs need to come up with a solution within a week before the economy collapse completely, Shippers Academy Colombo CEO and Sri Lanka Association of Manufacturers and Exporters of Rubber Products Director General Rohan Masakorala told journalists. He called on parliamentarians of all political parties to put aside differences, and immediately form an interim government if necessary, and take necessary actions in the national interest, and that of the Sri Lankan people. We are not here for a political purpose. We are seeing a tremendous challenge already faced by us going into the next level and bringing all industries to a halt, literally halt, if once we breathe out of the oxygen given by the India. India. Now, we are happy that at the moment we have a new governor who's taken off work today. We, we know there's a finance secretary now, but we also need a stable political system so that we have a cabinet and a finance minister because something very important is happening from the Levant. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.